Um, I have several individuals on this call. Uh, Peter Holstein is a partner at Middleton Partners, um, which is the owner of uh, Park Place East, the office building. Uh, Eric uh, Burgard with uh, Kimley Horn as our engineer. I have Stephanie from Colliers, who is the property manager for uh, Park Place East and will also be the property manager of this property. And uh, Brian Rosenblum uh, from GW Properties uh, as well. So I believe that everyone from our team uh, looks to be about half of uh, the audience or at least who I can see. Uh, but we're excited to be here tonight um, and present our, our plans, which have been in the works for, for quite some time. Uh, we are uh, we are purchasing and partnering with uh, Middleton Partners uh, on a proposed outlot in Park Place East. So go through a very short presentation and be around to answer any questions uh, or address any comments. So anything else, Jack, before I start? No? Okay, great. Uh, okay, um, the property address is 5775 West Wyzetta Boulevard uh, in St. Louis Park. Uh, our proposed tenants, which we'll get to shortly, are Shake Shack, Snooze Eatery, uh, Sweet Green, and Chipotle. I imagine everyone on this call is familiar with the property, but uh, in case someone is not, uh, the, the approximate area of uh, the site where we're looking to put an out lot is on the uh, southeast corner of the parking lot, uh, which is uh, personally and sometimes used for a garden center, which we'd look to relocate. Um, here are some photos of the parking lot from very various places. This is a high level site plan. Uh, the buildings will be built up against uh, 16th Street with uh, landscaping along the street. So we'll be getting rid of some impervious areas in the parking lot to create green space. Uh, the buildings will be uh, two, two, two tenant buildings that will be on the east end of the property abutting the detention area. Um, building on the east, uh, which will be approximately 6,800 square feet, will house Shake Shack on the east and Snooze Eatery, which is more of a breakfast lunch restaurant. And then the West building will be uh, Sweet Green and then Chipotle. Uh, Chipotle will have a, a Chipotle lane as a pickup lane. It is not a drive-through. Uh, there's no menu aboard. It is simply an area where uh, you, can, you can order online, order on mobile app, and then come to pick it up uh, and then pull out. Um, so the site plan superimposed onto a larger project. Each of the tenants uh, are, will all have outdoor seating uh, for their customers in various areas. Shake Shack will have an outdoor patio on the north of the building by the detention area. Um, Snooze will be using the area in between the two buildings um, as, as well as Sweet Green, and then Chipotle will have the area in the front. Uh, the parking will have parking on site, and there will also be cross parking with the Park Place East uh, office building, which has more more than sufficient parking to serve the office building as well as this project. Proposed building elevations. Um, given that we came into this project with four tenants in mind, or I should say we, we ended up with four tenants before we presented, uh, we were able to tailor the elevations on both buildings to accommodate each of the tenants' branding um, and identification. So uh, this, these buildings have a lot of their, their character, and we, we maintain some consistency with materials, colors, uh, and other, other accents. So uh, the north elevation would be, this is what would be facing the parking lot, the Park Place East. Um, so Shake Shack, uh, Snooze, Sweet Green, and Chipotle. South elevation will be the elevation along the street. Um, these elevations do not factor in landscaping and other elements that will be you know, outside the building. West elevation, um, coming from the west, this is what the, the Chipotle would be visible with Sweet Green, coming from the east, um, Shake Shack, so these are the different elevations of the buildings. A couple of renderings. This is uh, facing, you know, north northwest, more towards uh, the intersection on 16th. Um, some outdoor seating. This is a rendering of the park from the parking lot as well, facing, you know, northeast. Rendering southwest, and then a rendering of. Uh, Southeast, so just different perspective of the building. Uh, we're excited to be here, which is a great addition. This will be a, a very big, um, I think, value add for the area, value add amenity for the office building and the nearby residents who are, are looking for a place to, to grab some food. Uh, the hours of operation will vary between the tenants. Uh, Shake Shack is primarily lunch dinner. Snooze is primarily breakfast lunch. Chipotle is lunch dinner and uh, Sweet Green is, is more uh, Lunch, lunch and dinner as well. So happy to answer any questions. As I indicated, it was a short presentation, but uh, we're excited. And uh, if all goes well, we would uh, obtain approvals in the near months and we would begin construction in the spring with the goal of 
buildings being up uh, sometime in the summer with uh, an ultimate goal of having the tenants open uh, hopefully by this time uh, or a little later next year, 2024. So without any further ado, I would open it up back to, J to Jacqueline and anyone that may have any questions or comments. Thank you, Mitch. Um, I will just add that on the city process side, there will be a public hearing with the city, uh, city planning commission on November 15th. That's a Wednesday at 6 p.m. at City Hall. That's another opportunity for folks to provide comments, questions on the project. Planning commission would make a recommendation and then the project would go before city council for approval probably in December. So if anyone has any questions, oops, jump in or put something in chat. I've got that open as well. Are there leasing agreements in place with these vendors that you claim are going to be occupying these buildings? Uh, yes, there are. There's four, four leases with four tenants. And for how long are those leases? Uh, between 10 and 15 years for initial term with options thereafter. To renew. What consideration was given to the traffic impact that this construction will have on this area and the residents of this area? Uh, we, you know, we we worked with the traffic consultant. We worked with uh, the owner of Park Place on ensuring that totally undue traffic. Everything will be internal. All the access will be, will be maintained with current access into the site um, and circulate internally, as well as be able to access various ways to get out of the site. So um, it's a very retail area. Obviously it's across from Costco, across from other retail. So it's part of a vibrant office building. This will complement that, but um, it is noted, noted with most of our developments, the traffic that uh, comes to these types of projects is already traffic in the area. So um, that would be serviced with access to the streets and, and obviously pulling into the parking lot have, have more of that in the parking. You can see too from the area that this portion of the parking lot is, is rarely used. So. Uh, no reason to spill over elsewhere. Was there any consideration given to either uh, there's a, a recently completed freestanding building of three stalls to the west of Lakeshore Learning that was completed, I believe, in April or May of this year, and I have yet to see any signs of any prospective tenants moving in. Was there any consideration for having uh, this building be a more favored site than what you're proposing here? Uh, I mean, all I can tell you is that we don't control that property. I don't know any of the circumstances around that. I can tell you that the tenants that, you know, we've secured have looked everywhere in the market. And I'm not sure if there's issues with that site, if it's access, if there's ownership issues, parking or whatnot. But, um, you know, this this was a big you know win for us to grab these guys to come to the site. Um, many of the tenants that we talked to initially thought this was, you know, kind of west of a lot of the action, but um, we were able to put together a compelling mix of information um, and data points to provide them comfort. Um, but I would imagine if it's a good space, other tenants will fill it. Um, we have more tenants than we have space here. If I, could, if I could build two of these buildings on the site, we could fill both of them. But uh, at the moment, we're, we're very happy with what we've, we've ended up on a tenant site. So I'm sure, I'm sure that space will fill it. Was there any reason for considering the south end of the parking lot versus the north end? Because I know you, there's a TGI Fridays currently on the north side, as well as a strip mall to the northeast uh, containing a couple of current fast food restaurants. Um, I'm just wondering if, why was this site chosen? Versus yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it was, you know, tenants, um, I mean, this is the kind of bread and butter of what we typically develop and the types of tenants that are here are more fast, casual, in and out. Uh, they like to be more kind of with uh, more co-tenants on the major street. So the TJ Fridays, you know, is an anchor to the to the office building as well, but it's not on the main street. It has highway exposure. But the types of tenants we're talking to are smaller than TJ Fridays, and they typically rely on more, you know, in and out, um, similar to some of the co-tenants nearby down the street. You have Roti, you have Five Guys. Um, those are the types of tenants that they like to gravitate towards, and nearly all those groups are are closer to the park place Boulevard and 16th street. So um, if okay. we're looking for a full service restaurant, I think it can be a little different, but uh, that, that's the main reason why. Okay, thanks.
Any other questions, comments? Well, Jacqueline, I guess I'll turn it back over to you. Um, yeah, I don't have much else. Um, Council Member Brosson, is there anything you wanted to add? Uh, thank you. I just want to encourage any citizens that have concerns to share them with you. And feel free to reach out to me also. Uh, my email is available on the city's website. And uh, feel free to come to the public hearing and share any concerns you have about this. As, uh, as Kramer said, that's November 15th, I believe, it's before the Planning Commission. Correct. Um, there was a question in chat. Has an impact study been completed? Are you referring to uh, traffic or anything specifically, Mary? There hasn't been a traffic study. The, the size of the development and the intensity of the development didn't meet our city criteria for doing a traffic study. We did look at, okay, water sewage utilities. Um, yes, so that is part of staff's analysis of the project. Staff from different departments review the plans to ensure that we have enough water, sewage, and other utilities. Um, so right now, yes, we're finding that we do have the service capacity for this project, but there'll be more details in the staff reports that go to Planning Commission and City Council next month. And I will point out that we are, we, are not changing, we are not changing any of the utilities. All the utilities that we're utilizing are, are on site and, and available here. So we're not changing the the the, the, the geography of any of those items either. So is that's correct. Is there any confirmation that, that uh, the farmers market will remain, but just relocate? Because I know that is quite a draw for a number of the homeowners in the area. And we'd like to see it remain in some capacity. I can speak to that, Mitch, if you'd like. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Peter. So I don't know. Uh, in, in probably the first formal discussion that we had over a year ago with uh, staff, I don't know if it was Jacqueline or one of her colleagues, pointed out how the garden center struggled for quite some time to find a location that worked for them. And we at the time said that we will do what we can to find them another spot on the Park Place East property. We haven't gotten into specifics with them, um, primarily because the timing on this has been somewhat fluid, but we're going to do our best. Uh, it obviously can't go where this building is going to go, um, but Understandable. Yeah. we, we want to do what's right by um, them and the role that they play is just a different format for those kinds of goods and materials. And, we don't want to be the reason they go away. So we're going to work with them to try and figure it out. Uh, okay, okay, that, that's good to hear. It was a little ironic because the previous location for them is now the home of Chick-fil-A at Nolan Plaza. So it's kind of <laughs> like deja vu all over again. Oh, so they've, they, they've seen this movie then. <laughs> uh, yeah, they this isn't their first rodeo, so to speak, yeah. Well, well, the nice thing about a garden center is it's seasonal and it can move, kind of move around. So we, um, we've we done these before and, and I think at Peter's point, we will do our best to accommodate them. It's, it's, it's a win. Okay, thing. thanks. Council member, you mentioned the uh, placement of this building as though we're a foregone conclusion. I imagine this is a process and if there are further concerns there by the residents in the area, that further consideration, um, study, possible delay and or even denial of this project is still on the table. Is that a true statement? Oh, certainly. Yes. Um, this I, I've see, received nominal material, just very little material about this project so far because this is the standard process. It goes through staff. It's considered. It's vetted there. They make sure that the project conforms with all of our, our zoning codes and our, our local ordinances, and then they put it before the Planning Commission for a, uh, a public hearing. And ultimately, we have to decide whether or not we're going to grant, grant the uh, necessary permits to allow the development. But that being said, uh, my preliminary opinion on it is this seems like a reasonable commercial use in a commercial area. And, you know, we'll see what develops. But I haven't made up my mind. And I'm only one of seven voters there, too. <laughs> Appreciate it. As an owner nearby, I know that there are others with concern as to the impact it will have. Um, 
on traffic, et cetera, in the area. And so I appreciate the uh, the ability to voice said concern and take whatever steps may need to be taken to, to remedy that situation. Sure. A couple Thanks. other comments from the chat. Uh, a question was when the Planning Commission report will be available to the public. That will be posted on the city website on the afternoon of November 10th. So that's the Friday before the meeting. And it's, it will be publicly available then. Uh, there was also a question of if alcohol will be served at any of the restaurants. So I'll turn that over to Mitch. I'm not aware of alcohol at them. I know what Chipotle historically had had, you know, like beer and wine, but I, I think they've since um, taken away from that. But if there was, it would be an incidental license. I mean, a very, very small fraction of the business. Uh, Snooze is a breakfast, lunch restaurant. Shake Shack does not have alcohol. Um, I'm fairly certain Sweet Green, Sweet Green does not as well. So, um, but if they did, and obviously tenants like to have some some flexibility as, as you know, business has changed, but um, these are these are absolutely restaurants with most of the business, you know, dine in, delivery to go, and these are not places to be congregating for for drinks. There's plenty of places to the east of here that can be done. So, yeah. and to add on that, um, any restaurant that wants to serve alcohol has to apply for a liquor license with the city. That's a separate process from the approvals we're talking about tonight, and that has a plan, uh, a public hearing with city council and another vote. So. If that were to come up, there would be another opportunity for public input. Okay, great. Were there any other questions on the chat? I thought. Okay. That's it so far. Okay. Okay. Um, like I said, like you said, uh, you know, the other opportunities to raise questions or concerns, and we're happy to to address things and, and answer them along the way. So. I appreciate the venue and, and setting this up. Uh, you and other staff have been great. And uh, I think Larry might have a question. Your hand was raised. You got a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> got a haircut. <laughs> was that a question? Larry, uh, I'm not sure. Had it been noted can... for the record that someone got a haircut. I, I do need to get a haircut. <laughs> I know I did not get one recently. So. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, okay. Well, um, I, I appreciate it. Uh, we'll, we'll look forward to next steps and uh, we'll talk very soon. Anything All else, right. Jack? I don't, I don't want to be the one to end the meeting. If you set it up, so you, you tell me. All right, I'll end the meeting. Um, Yes, so you can go to the city website under community development to learn more about the project. It's titled Park Place East on the website. You can email me, Jacqueline Kramer. I will put my email in chat if you have any questions, if you want to um, submit a comment for the public hearing that would go into the official record, concerns, whatever you want to chat about with this project. Um, that is what I'm here for. And thank you everyone for taking the time to meet tonight. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks everybody. Thank you.